Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn ARM assembly language program to find factorial of a number. So what is or how to find the factorial of a number? Here is the formula to find factorial of a number. If I have to find n factorial, it will be equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to 2 into 1. For example, if n value, if we are taking it to be equal to 4, then 4 factorial will be equal to 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, which is equal to 24. And uh, we have to note a few things about factorial of a number. That is, 0 factorial will be 1 and 1 factorial will also be 1. And for rest of the numbers, this is the generalized formula we have to find the factorial. And uh, what is the program logic that we are going to implement? We will initialize one register with a value of n. And we will initialize another register. This is the register where we are going to store all the intermediate results as well as the final result. And this register will be initialized with a value 1. And we are doing the factorial computation in multiple iterations and during each iteration we compulsorily have to check if the register 1 value has reached 0 because we cannot go beyond 0 so 0 will be our terminating condition so at every iteration we are going to check whether register 1 value has reached 0 and what is 0 factorial it will be 1 and if 0 factorial is appearing in register 1 uh, as I said it will be our termination condition we need to stop processing right there and we know that our final result will be stored in register 2 if register 1 is not 0 then comes the actual logic what is the actual logic we have to multiply register 1 contents with register 2 and store the result in register 2 always we are going to store both the intermediate results as well as the final results in register r2 as i said once we multiply what we have to do is we have to decrement the value of register 1 by 1 and then again we have to multiply register 2 contents with register 1 store the result in register 2 so now what is 4 uh, 3 cross 4 it is 12 result stored in result stored in register 2 then again decrement r1 by 1 multiply again 2 cross 12 is 24 stored here decrement the value of register 1 by 1 again again multiply now r1 is 1 1 cross 24 is 24 result stored here then again decrement decrement r1 by 1 now r1 becomes 0 when r1 becomes 0 what is the what is the procedure that we have to follow we need to stop our process right there and return the value of the factorial which is stored in the r2 so what is 4 factorial it is 24 so if we have to convert this logic into the arm assembly code we'll do it line by line what is the first instruction that we have to write now we have to initialize register 1 with n let me select pen okay so how to initialize register 1 with n we just have to move the value of n in this example we are taking n value to be equal to 4 to register r1 and what is the second instruction that we have to write it is initializing register 2 with 1 and what is the third instruction we have to perform a check here whether register 1 is equal to 0 checking means it is comparing what register 1 with value 0 so if true means if our comparison is equal r1 is equal to 0 that means branch on equal to we need to go to the end of the program then 
what is the next instruction we have otherwise we have to perform multiplication to perform multiplication instruction is mul what do we have to multiply register 1 content should be multiplied with register 2 and we have to store the result in r2 this is a three operand instruction and what is the next instruction we have to perform decrement how to perform decrement is nothing but subtraction subtraction of r1 by how much amount 1 then then what we have to do without checking any condition we have to branch back to branch the unconditional branch we have instruction b to step 3 step 3 is nothing but this comparison so we need to have a label here let me take the label as back so our instruction will be branch back so here is the program in Keel IDE for factorial of a number computation uh, this program logic already we have discussed so now I'll just debug this program uh, before debugging we all know that we have to build the executable file how to build the executable file f7 or there will be an icon and you can see that there are zero errors and zero warnings that means we can proceed for our debug window to go to the debug window just select debug and start or stop debug session yes this is our uh, debug mode where we can see the code area here and disassembly here and the register files so we'll enter into step by step execution mode what is the step one r1 we are initializing with four appearing here r2 initialized with one then we are comparing r1 with four which is not true when it is not true then we will perform multiplication of r1 into r2 and the result stored in r2 you can see the result stored in r2 then we will subtract r1 by 1 it has become 3 now then we have to branch to compare instruction again so again we are comparing r1 with 0 which is not true so branch on equal to stop will not be executed instead we are performing multiplication of 3 into 4 results stored in r2 12 is nothing but c in hexadecimal then again subtract r1 branch back compare r1 with 0 no so multiply r1 into r2 sub, uh, store result in r2 subtract r1 and branch back now what is the value of r1 it is still 1 it is not equal to 0 so we have to go for multiplication and result stored in r2 again we have branched back now r1 value has become equal to 0 this comparison results true when it results true it should go to the label stop now you can see control is coming to the last instruction of our code stop b stop this is end of the program so finally we have the result stored in r2 register